Right, CCA is 2014. Valutorian is known for her academic dedication and success on the soccer field. But what really makes this student stand out is her walk with Jesus and the way she commits all that she does, all of her effort and plans to Him. She consistently strives to please God and honor Him with her talents. Her gifts have been shared with the CCA community for a season now. And in that time, it has been a blessing to watch her grow up. She has a sweet and sacrificial nature that looks to bring un others under her wing and encourage them in their walks with Christ. As a student leader, a camp counselor, a soccer coach, she has been a role model for many young people. She has a fun-loving personality and is always ready to cheer up her classmates. A loyal and caring person is how her friends describe her. Her teachers recognize her to be diligent, motivated, and full of humility. Her spiritual convictions and maturity are of someone way beyond her years. She's so responsible, my wife and I entrust our children to her care, and she is one of their favorite babysitters. <laughs> All of these traits make it no surprise that this very special and diligent young woman is representing her class tonight. It is my pleasure to introduce to you CCA's 2014 valedictorian, Caitlin Wynn. Stuff. 
Calvary will never have a dedicated sports fans or Calvary crazies, as Chapin likes to call us. Um, Calvary will never have someone with more cars than Trey, someone engaged as young as Roger. <laughs> teachers more dedicated not only to our academics, but also our spiritual and social lives. Out there in the real world, no one will spoon feed us. There won't be parents to wake us up or teachers and administrators to keep us in order. We've already made huge decisions in our lives about our future and the weight of those decisions will rest on our shoulders. Out there, our actions will have consequences and our success will depend on our own drive for it. A long, long time ago, there was a young man like us who was welcomed into the real world. His father advised him to go seek out a great sage and ask that sage what the secret of happiness is. So the young man traveled far and wide until he finally came upon a castle at the peak of the mountain. He saw that sage surrounded by people asking him questions. The young man waited impatiently until his turn finally came. He waited for many hours and finally, when it did come, he asked the sage what the secret of happiness is. Instead of saying anything, the sage took out a spoon and put two drops of oil in that spoon. He instructed the young man to walk around the entire castle without dropping a single speck of that oil. So, the young man, without questioning, took the spoon and walked around the entire castle without dropping a single speck. Many hours later, he came back to the sage. I didn't drop anything, he told the sage. All right, but tell me, did you see the tapestries on my walls? Did you see the Persian rugs that adorn my floors? Did you see the sculptures that are around my hallways? Did you, see the, did you notice the garden that Master Gardener spent 10 years making? I didn't see any of that, said the young man. All right, said the sage, go. Look, enjoy it. So the young man went around and looked at all these wonders. He was astounded. He came back to the sage and said, that was amazing. All right, said the sage, can I please see your spoon? There was nothing in it. That's all the advice I can give you, said the sage. The secret of happiness is to see all the wonders of the world and not forget the two drops of oil in that spoon. As we go out into the world and see all that it has to offer, don't forget where you come from. In the future, life is gonna require many careful steps, even more commitment and focus on the little things, but also there will be greater wonders and fuller joy than we can ever imagine. As we enter college, learn to balance work and play, experience life, but remember responsibility. It's more important to be caring than carefree. College is not as easy as high school. The Navy is not as fun as team sports or PE. And your job's only grade is pay. Where the obstacles are many and the stakes are high, success is all the sweeter. Thomas Edison fell many times before inventing the light bulb. Abraham Lincoln lost for Congress four times. And Soldier Boy had to release hundreds of mixtapes before he ever hit that legendary gold record. <laughs> Even our senior class had to suffer through hundreds of after-school detentions before effectively learning how to evade the attendance policy. <laughs> Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So seek knowledge and don't be afraid to dream. Aspire for the future, but don't neglect the present. Psalm 34 verse seven says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. All these years we have learned so much and our lives have been poured into greatly. Don't let it slip away as we continue on our life's journey away from this special school. Well, class of 2014, thanks for the memories. It's been an honor to speak to you today. And it has been great growing up with many of you. I'd like to give a special thank you first and foremost to God, who without whom, without whom I would never be where I am in life, as well as the pastors who followed his calling to create this wonderful place. I also want to give a special shout out to my own parents. I would not be up here today without them. I advise everyone, once the ceremony is over, to go hug your own parents. 
Calvary definitely has the best teachers, the best staff, the best food, and the most expensive rock in the country. <laughs> well, guys, we tried, and we triumphed. Congrats, class 2014. Thank you.